Alright guys, we got another really cool piece out of the collection, out of my friend Statue Flies collection. This time this is the Cinema Cat Want Their Predator. It is ridiculously awesome. It is very, very special. There's a lot of lineage to it, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, I have the rare privilege and opportunity to see and showcase to you. This is the One Third Predator from Cinema Cat, and this is going to be very different from all of the modern predators that you that are out on the market now, whether by Prime One or by anyone else. And the reason for that is because this is back in the day, uh, what, 15 years ago? 15 years ago where this was hand sculpted. That's right. All of the detail that you see on here is hand sculpted. That is amazing. Nobody, nobody makes statues like this anymore. And look at the quality. And the person Steve Wang, he worked on the original Predator suit. And because he worked on the original Predator suit, that arm cannon is actually in the correct scale because guess what? He made it for the movie. Nobody else since then has made this arm cannon in the correct scale. Oh, if you're gonna get pissed off, I don't care. Um, however, there is one little telltale about this piece that is slightly bit different. So, according to uh, I'm at my friend Statue Fly's house and he, he doesn't want to be on camera and that's fine but he gave me some very good historical knowledge. He did say that this statue is supposedly sculpted off of the first Predator movie. The one from the 80s uh, with Arnold and all that. Now, however, the movie from the 80s, that head, the dome, is actually like, it goes like that way. And on this statue, it doesn't. But from Predator 2 onwards, all of their heads look like that. So what really happened here is the sculptor, the guy who worked on the movie, worked on the costume, he made the Predator 1 movie, the, the Predator 1 movie statue as to how he would make it. So there's some Ac there's a lot of lineage and accuracy, but there is just that little tiny detail that is also inaccurate and Yes, I'm sure there's gonna be some Predator fan out there who's going to shit a brick right now and throw something at a TV and curse my name to the heavens to which I say Thank you and Go F yourself and have a nice day But this has been a super oh wait 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 we are not done we are not done we are actually, I'm gonna have to show you something that is so unique and so cool about this piece that they just don't make them like this anymore this is amazing the wrist uh, I don't know the gauntlet the the bomb is like in the movie it counts down exactly like in the movie that is insane so wait till that last one beeps and then see what happens like that is awesome they don't make that anything anymore. That, that's just so... Look at that! Look at that! Holy shit snacks! Guys, this is phenomenal. I'm telling you, this is why the cinema cat pieces command as much as they do. It, it's just... I don't care what you say, how you see it in photos. I'm looking at this with my eyes, in person, in real life. And I understand why this thing commands as much as it does. It is just an amazing piece, an amazing pose. And you know what? I'm really lucky. Thank you to my friend Statue Fly for letting me showcase this awesome piece. So, and thank you to everyone who's checking out. Toss a like, subscribe, tell me the F off, however you want to do it. I will see you guys in the next video.